Hi guys, this is the water bottler, and today I'm gonna look over all my um, video games, the physical video games that I have, and I'll give you an update about the backlog in just a second. But uh, starting in alphabetical order for the PlayStation 4 games is first we have Destiny, big disappointment, big disappointment. Next we have uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. I played a little bit of this, but um, it's it's very fun. But I haven't. But I have. I plan on finish. I'm planning on playing two games at once. I'm playing Ghost of Tsushima and and uh, Divinity Original Sin Two on play PC. So this is all my physical media that I have. Uh, this is a fun one. Final Fantasy X and X2 Remake. Remaster, I should say. That I haven't played X2, but I played the original X and it's very fun. I think this is one, this is my, this is the, a really un underrated game because, uh, I don't know, I have, I have a lot of nostalgia with this one because this is, uh, one that was very fun. I replayed. I played the beat this game twice. And it's very fun. Final Fantasy Fifteen. If you don't, if you can't, if you can't, if you can't read it. Uh, God of War. Uh, pretty good game. Uh, I played it, beat it. Uh, it was it was fun, but not my not my not my favorite though. Okay, Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, this game is amazing. This game is just fabulous. It's just, like, the graphics, the story, and the gameplay. The gameplay, it's kind of like a Breath of the Wild for PlayStation, but it's I, I, a graphic game stuff, so I don't have the cover, but here's the disc. Horizon Zero Dawn. So, yeah. I really like it. I like, like the gameplay is just so much fun. It's basically dinosaur robots, if you don't know. Um, this one is actually, this one is actually, I don't know. This one's actually my brother's, but I guess he let me keep it. He's not playing his game anymore. Um, so this is Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5. Some of my favorite games of all time, especially the first one. Yeah. It really goes hard. Here's uh, the the two point eight. Uh, uh, not too bad in the game, but uh, could have been better. But I mean, it's it's a prequel. It's a it's a three DS game and uh, and uh, and uh, and, uh, and um, preview of what Kingdom Hearts three would be. Speaking of Kingdom Hearts three, here is Kingdom Hearts three. One of my favorite games on the PlayStation because it's because unlike 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 Kingdom Hearts one and two, where I did not I was not really familiar with the I was I, I'm a Gen Z I'm Gen Z so I um I don't reckon I didn't I didn't understand what was going on in the story until after I saw the movies like oh okay I get it now. But I seen all. I pretty much seen all of the movies in this one. Uh, I saw it before 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 I played it, so it was much more enjoyable for me. And also, I got the DLC. This is the only game I got like really into the DLC, which is the Remind DLC. It's very very challenging and fun. Another underrated game is. Uh, the Neo, the world ends with you. This is very underrated. This is uh, basically uh, a same people who made Kingdom Hearts, the Square Enix, and Final, and Final Fantasy, but uh, it's based in Tokyo, and it's, it's, it's a sequel to the World Ends with You. Um, it's, it's a sequel to the World Ends with You uh, on the DS, but. Uh, and also it was remade for the Switch, but I didn't get the Switch version. But uh, I, I I like the original. I don't know. I don't know which one I liked better. 
I haven't. I want. I want to one hundred percent complete this one. I only beat the story and then got off. It's it's a very fun game, but I, it's way longer. I think it was way longer than the than the original, which is probably why I wouldn't say this is better. I think the original one on DS is better. Ah, uh, here's a good one. Neo, if you like a fun challenge, uh, and you like samurais, uh, uh, and you like uh, demons and all that kind of stuff, if you like Demon Slayer, I guess, you can try out Neo. Fun game. Like it, Souls-like game. One I have not played yet, I got this recently, The Last of Us Part, well, Last of Us Remastered. Uh, yeah, I got this for a very cheap price, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't see any point to getting the, uh, part one, the remastered when this is, like, like, $30 cheaper. Uh, yeah. So, here is another game I haven't played yet, uh, Resident Evil 2. Um... Uh, uh, I plan on playing this eventually. Uh, I'll I'll get to the backlog later. Uh, uh, uh yeah, I have, I have a lot of games to play. This game I originally had on my PC, but I wanted to get the PlayStation Four version for the extra content. And I ha I haven't beaten I haven't beaten the whole thing. One hundred percent completed it. I want to one hundred percent complete this one. Terraria. If you don't know what that is, Terraria. And here's a pretty pretty fun game. I, it's really challenging, but I really like it. It's the Uncharted trilogy for the PlayStation 4. Or the Nathan Drake collection, or whatever it's called. I, I, I like it. I like it. Good game. A game that I've not played yet is Valkyria, Valkyria Chronicles 4. I'm going to play this eventually someday. When I have time to, or I don't know, I'm gonna I'm gonna update I'm gonna update all of you guys on the uh, backlog thing. Wargroove, Wargroove. I uh, haven't played it yet, but I heard it's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm getting more into tactics game. Like I'm getting more interested in tactics. Like I'm playing Divinity Original Sin two. Technically, it's a not a tactics game, but it's, it has elements of tactics in it, so I'll, I don't know. Last for the PlayStation 4 is XCOM. XCOM 2 Collection, which is... That's a good deal. I have to admit, that is a good deal. Uh, I played a little bit of it, and I enjoyed it a lot. So, I played a little bit of it, enjoyed it a lot, so I decided to get more... Yeah, to get more attack this game. Alright. Here's more of my backlog. Uh, here's my PlayStation 5 games. Oh, the phone's ringing. Hold on. Uh, never mind. It was just uh, nothing, really. Uh, okay, so. Mirage, the Assassin's Creed. I haven't played this. I don't know why I keep buying games. I mean, I'm luckily... Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save it for the uh, uh, later half of the video. Uh has to be I'm beating it. Play a little bit of this, and... Not as good as the Modern Warfare, but, you know, I mean, I, mean, I, like, I, like, I like World War II stuff. Uh, uh, it's definitely... I know this game had a lot of... Uh, uh, what's it called? Like controversy, or or it wasn't well praised, but I mean, I mean, is it really that bad? I don't know. I play a little bit of online multiplayer and stuff. Here's the game I'm play, currently playing right now. It's Ghost of Tsushima. Very fun game so far, and uh, I uh, really uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's like Assassin's Creed. Meets Far Cry meets Japanese lore and stuff. I don't know. It's a fun game, definitely. Oh, here's 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 a great one. Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, uh this game. 
this game is a lot of I like I like the story. It's very good. Is it better than the original? Uh, pretty much, pretty much in every way. It's pretty much better than the original. Uh, uh I really like it. Uh, game that I have not played yet. Oh, here's here comes the backlog. <laughs> uh, Jedi Survivor. Jedi, no, wait, no, Jedi Fallen Order. I do have Jedi Survivor. <laughs> uh, here's Jedi Survivor, and I and I, and I got this at a real good deal, like thirty five bucks, like like like. Like, that's a pretty good deal. Game that I have not played that, but I played the original on PC. I thought the original one is fantastic. It's one of my favorite games of all time. But I got the sequel, uh, Octopath Traveler 2. The game that, the most recent game, one of the most recent games I bought is Persona 5 Tactica. This game uh, it's basically Persona 5, but a tactics game with chibi characters. Notice it's rated teen. Guess there's less bad stuff in it. Not, so it's more appropriate for kids, I guess. Uh, game that I play a little bit of it, but, you know, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be playing it until I finish the two games. That, uh, I'll, I'll explain it all in the black box. But here it is, Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank. Play a little bit of this. And I'm excited to play more. Returnal. This one I haven't even opened yet. Uh, it was only five bucks at GameStop. It's brand new and it was a really good deal. Five bucks for a PlayStation 5 game. Count me in. And this one, uh, Tales of Arise. Pretty interesting looking game. I haven't, haven't played it, but uh, yeah. Uh, those were my PlayStation 4 and 5 games. Now I'm gonna go to Switch. Just a second. Okay, oh no. Okay. First game on my alphabetically speaking is Animal Crossing. This game is this game you can play this game forever, literally forever. But I choose not to because I um I mean I choose not to. I mean I I was really I was really into it uh not during the pandemic but uh or whatever whatever that period of time I shouldn't say that but period of time where people were not allowed to go outside uh, I haven't I haven't played that during that time but I bought it a little bit later and I uh, I enjoyed it I played put over 50 hours into this one this game was just brutal more brutal than Dark Souls Crash Bandicoot uh, I'm ready for more brutality, but I haven't played this one yet. Uh, Diablo 3. I played a lot of this, but then I stopped for some reason. Uh, mainly because I wanted to finish my other games. Okay, one of my favorite... This is a really great deal. It's the Doom Slayer collection. It includes all... Five of the first five uh, Doom games, first five Doom games and uh, first four Doom games and uh, like that includes Doom, Doom Two, Doom sixty four, uh, Doom Three, Doom two thousand sixteen, um, and it's uh, well worth the price. And it's especially Doom two thousand sixteen, one of my favorite shooters of all time. Uh, let's see. I don't, oh, this is, uh, this is, uh, I haven't played it yet, but Mario Kingdom Bow got the digital version. This was at, this is only about 15 bucks at Walmart. Here's one of my favorite games of all time, Metroid Prime. And, you know, you know, I played with this on the GameCube when, I played this on the GameCube 
way back when I was a teenager and and it it was like when I was 13 I played this on and I it, it, I just fell in love with it. I love Metroid, everything Metroid. I even played I don't have it. I don't have uh Metroid Dread, but I played a play my brother had it, so I had played that one and I really liked it. So let's see what happened. Okay. I guess I don't need that. Okay, so here's Monster Hunter Rise. Pretty good game. But uh it can get repetitive. Um uh, I I don't know I, I don't know if I mastered the skill fully. I need you know I you know, so sometimes sometimes it's just like really hard to understand the game. Uh, I know there's DLC in it, but I didn't buy the DLC for it. Much hard, much hard to rise. Ah, uh, <laughs> um, Pac-Man Museum. Not really a big fan of Pac-Man, but my mom is, so she plays Pac-Man. Um, but not recently. Um, she's playing on her, mostly playing on her phone. Whatever. This game, this game is like Stardew Valley, but not as good and more price. I, I was hoping, I was hoping that it would include something extra, but I mean, it's not a bad game, as per se. But it did came, it did come with this a little, a little pamphlet. What little thingy? Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, here's a game I really, I really like. Super Mario Wonder. I haven't finished it. Oh crap! Ah <laughs> oh, man. Just so, let's see. Oh, let's see. Okay, yeah. Technical difficulty. And we're back. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, so, yeah. I played a little bit of Super Mario Wonder, um, but uh, Super Mario Wonder, but uh, haven't been in it. Uh, yeah, what's the next? Okay. Here's one of my favorite games of last year uh, Zelda. Here's the Kingdom. I'm playing it, but I haven't I haven't finished it yet. So, uh, here is Zelda: Link's Awakening, one of my favorite uh, over overhead Zelda games, like the overhead view. Last game, uh, it's kind of well. I don't have it in here. I have it in my little safety thing to keep all my games in but uh you can see that xenoblade chronicles 3 really rare game i heard that it was a rare game but i got it basically for free after i traded in on my um i traded on a lot of of my i traded a lot of my uh switch games to buy Mario, Super Mario Wonder, and uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Yeah. Let me put these back uh, away. Let me put these back away. I'm going to put this away. Oh, I'll pause it. Anyway, now for the update on my backlog. Um. My backlog is, uh, last year I bought, like, over, I think it was, like, I bought over, I bought over 80 games, like, last year, and, um, now I have officially, no, wait, no, not 80 games, it was more like 50, 50 or 40. I don't know, something, something like that. I bought a whole bunch of games last year. 
and I haven't gotten around being them because it, you know, I'm just, I'm actually, I actually started a business, uh, and, uh, I'm working now, I'm a working man, uh, Uh, but, yeah, so, what I'm plan, what I plan to do, what I plan to do is play about, play about, uh, my, here's what you do, here is, if you have a limited time like me, if you're working and trying to work on your backlog, uh, Set at least an hour or two, to one to two hours playing your games. And play, play only one or two games at a time, which are what I'm doing right now. Of course, there's exceptions, like the games that you always play forever, like Minecraft. And in my case, uh, Tropico 6. Tropico 6 uh, and uh, Democracy 4. Those are the games I play, like, like whenever I feel like, uh, I, feel like uh, I want to play, but... Ultimately, you need to set some times um, for playing your video games at, at a certain day. Just have a video game time. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So, the, the games I'm playing right now... Um, I'll leave a link in the description of my, of my, uh, if you, actually, I'll, I might, look, uh, I might leave a link in the description of my, uh, backlog, backlogged, uh, 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 homepage, uh, which I show you what games I have on my backlog. It's not just, it's not just the ones I just showed you, which I have a backlog for. I have, I have, I have digital games on my PlayStation and my Xbox. That uh, need to be addressed. Uh, I bought like oh, just way way too many games. So uh, I, luckily I, this month it's almost over, and I haven't bought a single game. But I hope, Lord willing, we can uh, go forward without buying any more games until until we finish the ones we have started. Um, yeah, I think my plan is to do eight games a year, at least, at the very least, finish eight games. And uh, after this, after I'm done recording the video, I'm going to, uh, well, probably gonna play some more games because uh, today's my day off. So, um, leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me if you had any, any of these games uh, in your in your backlog, or if you had played them already, and tell me what you think of them. So, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description on what games I'm playing, and I'll see you all guys later. Bye. Hey, wait, turn this thing off. Hey, turn this thing off. <laughs>